Good day, LA Beast here. The holidays are fast approaching, and 2014 is coming to an end. And looking back on the year 2014, it's been an absolute year of freaking hell for me, personally. So what I decided to do is take the rest of the year off, and today I'm going to be doing a question and answer. Answering questions from you, the fans, and I'm going to open up some fan mail all while drinking these 96 cups of eggnog. Now since it's the holiday season and sharing is caring, I decided to raffle off this Denver Broncos autographed Bill Romanowski football jersey, which I've worn once and probably will not wear ever again. So if you would like to enter to win this game used by me in this video, Denver Broncos jersey, Click the link in the description below, and you're entered. So without further ado, let me answer your questions. Jaxian C asks, what video games do you play? Well Jaxian, I am a Nintendo, original NES, and a Super Nintendo guy. Uh, as of late, I've been playing some Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball on Super Nintendo. And to be honest, my favorite video games of all time, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, and Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, I grew up a Nintendo guy, late 80s, early 90s, so uh, that's my go-to these days, because I'm old. Nightmare Wolf asks, what TV shows do you kick back to? And just relax. Uh, right now, I never thought I would, you know, I heard the rave reviews about Breaking Bad, and, you know, I was like, it doesn't look interesting. Uh, Nothing else was on Netflix, and I saw Breaking Bad, so I decided to give it a shot. Definitely didn't make a mistake. Uh, just finished season three, heading into season four. Uh, the thing I like about Breaking Bad is that at the end of every episode, they leave you wanting more. And that, that's a great, great tactic on their part, and it's like a good book that you can't put down. So right now, I am a Breaking Bad Enthusiast. Oh, Jesus. I, this eggnog tastes like it has alcohol in it, but it doesn't. Alright. Mike D asks, Do you think Furious Pete is better than you? You know what? Furious Pete... Yes. Yes, Furious Pete is better than me at competitive eating. Uh, to be honest, I, when I started YouTube, uh, Pete, he contacted me. He's kind of like a mentor to me on YouTube. So, you know, I love the guy. I, you know, I respect what he does. I respect that he has overcome so many obstacles in his life. And he's an inspiration. Uh, you know, Pete's a great guy. He's a good friend. And, you know, that's, a, that, that's what I have to say about Furious Pete. Uh, Maxime O asks, where did you get your giant beer glass? Well, I, I borrowed, I borrowed my giant beer glass from my old job, which is a beer distributor in Brooklyn. You know, it's cleaned out, it's washed, and I, I'm ready to return it uh, anytime that I'm in Brooklyn next. So, it is borrowed 100% and I plan on returning it. Let's see here. Makai M asks, can you scramble eggs on my head? This is your brain on drugs, Makai M. Let's see, Forrest H asks, do you even lift? Yes, I do lift. It may People say that I'm half fat, half buff. Which is true. Um, no, I, my body type, I don't have a six pack or anything like that, but I'm in the gym five, six days a week. I do about an hour and a half of cardio, hour and a half of lifting weights. I am in there, I'm, I'm doing work every time I go to the gym. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm in shape, but I, I'm, I'm out of shape because I do all these crazy eating challenges, so. Uh, Sam C says, if I could start my life again, would I keep the beast eminence 
or would I do something different? If so, what? Um, if I, you know what, if I could start my life again, I don't know if I'd have the patience to do everything over again. Uh, this LA Beast thing came about by an accident and started this four years ago and it's just, it's been a it's been a uphill climb it's it's nothing that I've done has come easy uh, I, I didn't get any overnight success from what I'm doing it's it's a lot of hard work a lot of focus a lot of determination uh, yeah I'm very I like where I'm at and I think the reason why I'm here right now at this point is because everything that has happened to me in the past 30 years up until this point, you know, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change my life. Uh, there's been many highs, many lows, but you know, I'm happy where I'm at and I'm going to continue to bust my ass, continue to grow, continue to expand, be the best. So there you go, Sam C. Shane H. asks, can you say Shane Hadley, your boss, courtesy of the LA Beast? Shane Hadley, your boss, courtesy of me. Oh my god, these are terrible. William A. asks, can I do another Ipecac car wash? To be honest, William H., I think I may be doing an Ipecac car wash all over this Christmas tree probably in the next 10 minutes so stay tuned for that Randall S asks how's my ass after the ghost pepper to be honest Randall every time that I've eaten a ghost pepper or any hot pepper for that matter uh, it burns twice as bad coming out of your butt than it does going in your mouth uh, let's see here I was at the gym in the middle of my lift and it's, it, I felt the burning in my stomach. I had to stop my lift dead in its tracks and spent the next 45 minutes sweating my ass off, pooping out fire at the gym bathroom. You know, I get stage fright when I use public restrooms. So th this experience was uh, one of the worst pooping experiences of my life. But yeah, the, the ghost pepper, or any hot pepper for that matter, is terrible. Terrible coming out of your butthole. Kimmy D asks, if I could live anywhere in the world, where would I live? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, if I could live anywhere in the world, I would probably live in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Why? Because it's a land of imagination. Uh, I've, I don't know what goes on between my ears, but... I'm always daydreaming, I'm always thinking of crazy, ridiculous things to do. So, you know what? Where better to live than Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? Plus you get free candy and chocolate 24-7 and never-ending gobstoppers. So that's where I'd live. Michael Michael asks, what inspired my YouTube channel? Um, I would say... Back in 2010, uh, the show Man Vs. Food with Adam Richman was a very popular show. He goes around, goes to these restaurants and does eating challenges. I think, you know, I realized at an early age that I could at least eat a decent amount of food. And when this show came on, it really inspired me to get out and uh, embrace competitive eating. and. Yeah, that's where it started. The very first video I ever did on YouTube was of me eating, I think, a quadruple X burger from Fat Burger. Weighed about four pounds. And just from there, I did the gallon milk challenge. Um, and just didn't stop. I just kept going. And yeah, I would say Man vs. Food definitely inspired the LA Beast YouTube channel. Alex B. asks, will there be any giveaways in the near future? If you click in the link in the description below, Alex B., you can enter to win this jersey that I'm wearing right now, which may have throw up on it by the end of this video. Richard F. III asks, where did I get my YouTube 
username Skippy62 Able. Uh, yeah, Skippy comes from uh, I was in first grade and the teacher asked, "Do you have any nicknames?" I raised my hand. I said, "Yes, please call me Skip because I like to skip a lot." And my buddy Robbie uh, has not stopped calling me Skip for about the past 28 years or whatever, 26 years. So. Skippy comes from that. 62 was my college football number. And able, I have no idea why I put the words able. Because it rhymes with fable and Mabel. So yeah, that's it. I don't know. You can combine three random things and that's what you get. Trevor B says, what do you have to say to all the high schoolers out there? You just have to say... Don't worry if you, you don't know what you want to do in life. You know, you may be seeing all these kids getting early acceptance to colleges and stuff like that. To be honest, I had no freaking clue what college I wanted to go to, what I wanted to study. I was always a guy who just flew by the seat of my pants. Don't worry. Just, uh, yeah, just take one thing at a time. Just enjoy it. Enjoy high school because once it's over, then you enter the real world and things get, it's all business after that. So the fun and games are over. So just enjoy high school. Just follow, follow your dreams. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Hope M asks, how old are you? Believe it or not, come January 6th, I will be 31 years old. Which is ridiculous that I'm still sitting in my apartment doing things that a 16 year old would do. But you know what? I'm gonna continue to do them anyway. I'm not really sure who asked this question, but who is my favorite YouTuber? Uh, to be honest, I watch a lot of the big YouTubers. Uh, for some reason I watch Hannah Hart, Jenna Marbles, uh, Reckless Eating, Max Mofo, How To Basic, Furious Pete, Damon Wells, Freak Eating, uh, yeah, the, the guy Zombie, just a, a lot of the smaller YouTube YouTube channels I always watch, I might throw up. Chuck from the Bronx, yeah, just fellow competitive eaters. Um, yeah, but I always like, keep my eye on the top guys because I'm gunning for them, so better watch out. Cheers. Oh my god. I'll just do two more for good measure. <clears throat> Justice Matthews asks, how is my toe after nearly slicing it off while trying to deliver birthday presents across a buttered kitchen floor? My toe is okay. <clears throat> Still there. Uh, Patrick S. asks, do I play Xbox? And if so, what is my gamer tag? I think the last time I really played Xbox was back in 2008 when I dominated Tiger Woods 08. Uh, besides that, I played, I used to play Madden 06 and talk major smack to kids uh, younger than me. But yeah, other, other than that, I really haven't haven't been uh, an Xbox guy. Like I said, I have old school Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and uh, you know that's where I'm at. I wish I had Super Nintendo Live. There's a good idea because I would dominate. Okay, uh, this guy who wrote his name in Japanese letters asks. Do I live off of YouTube revenue? As, as of now, I used to have a nine to five job as a salesman. Uh, you know, it's been, it's been a blessing to be able to do this full time. But it's, it, it, like doing YouTube videos is a full time job. You have to come up with ideas that are decently creative, different, unique, outside the box. Just stuff that will entertain the people who watch your content and if you put out bad videos the people watching will let you know immediately so I do make my revenue and my 
salary from YouTube, but it's it, it is a full time job. But I enjoy it. I you know I enjoy it. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So Amy M asks, what challenge do you regret the most? Well, Amy, it's probably going to be this one. But I think uh, the Cinnamon Gauntlet Challenge science experiment that I did last week, uh, that I regret, bleh, I regret, bleh, I can't speak, I regret, freaking regret that one the most because the cinnamon literally burned 98.7% of my entire mouth. I couldn't speak, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep because it was in that much pain. That one I regret the most, if I could speak. What is my favorite animal? From Cade. Uh, seahorses are pretty cool. Yeah, I'd have to say seahorses are my favorite animal. Brute Squad asks, have I ever met Smokey the Bear? No, I have not, but if Smokey the Bear does in fact exist, I would like him to, I would, I would have dinner with Smokey the Bear, because he is freaking awesome. Only you can prevent forest fires. Brendan T asks, when did I start YouTube? Well, uh, Brendan T, I started YouTube August of 2010. Who's my role model? I have a bunch of different role models, uh, a few coaches. Coach Ponticelli, Coach Watson, Coach George, they kind of instilled in me the, the beast, hard work mentality. Uh, my dad, my dad is a hard worker. He's definitely one of my role models. Uh, yeah, and there's a guy, Jim the Candleman, a good friend. He's passionate about everything he does in his day-to-day -day life and his just his, his his positive attitude is contagious. So, yeah, those, those people are definitely my role models. Uh, Matthias asks, "What do my parents currently think about my YouTube and competitive eating?" Uh, at first, both of my parents were against what I'm doing, uh, but now, you know, my mom saw me on television a couple times. I think they're proud of me. They're proud that, you know, although what I do uh, may be dangerous to my health at points, and it may be stupid, I think they're, they're proud of me that I'm, I'm building something. I'm building a, a brand, an LA Beast brand. I'm building a wonderful audience. They enjoy, my mom especially enjoys getting online and reading all the comments that are positive. The negative ones she doesn't really enjoy reading, but yeah, they're, I think they're, they're they're proud that, you know, you know, I was working a crappy nine-to-five job and I'm doing something I enjoy doing. So, yeah, they're, they're proud parents. Ken S. asks, what do I feel like after a pro competitive eating event? Uh, for the most part, you feel like you want to explode and or throw up everywhere. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not comfortable. You have, you're taking an empty stomach and filling it to its brim. So yeah, you kind of feel like you want to explode. Colt D asks, well, what challenger video has brought me the most fame that I wasn't expecting? The Crystal Pepsi video where I drank the 20 year old bottle of Crystal Pepsi and then threw up everywhere. Uh, I was actually posted posted the video, thought nothing of it. I was hung over at my friend's house, woke up the next day, and it had 175,000 views. And at that time, that, that's astronomical. I was like, where, what the hell? And yeah, it just that video just reached 10 million views. So that one I wasn't expecting to take off, but it did. Curtis M asks, do I have a girlfriend? Currently, no. Uh, I have. I did have a girlfriend in the past. I think, you know, to have a significant other is, it's a lot of work. I think right now I'm, just, I'm focused on improving Kevin Strayland. I'm focused on improving the LA Beast and 
I don't. I, I think emotionally, I wouldn't give a girlfriend her emotional needs. So, you know, I'll go out. I'll have fun. Talk to the ladies. But uh, no, no serious girlfriend at the moment. What is my favorite childhood memory from Taylor B? Oh boy, almost just lost it on that one. My favorite childhood memory. <sighs> I just got. I just got my new LA Gear sneakers, and I was in the kitchen, and my mom was mad at me, so she said, "Don't move." And so. You know, I had to go to the bathroom at the moment just to show her that I meant business and not to mess with me. I peed my pants all over my brand new LA Gear sneakers and all over the kitchen floor for that matter. And my mom had to clean it up, so I think she learned a lesson with me at a young age not to mess with me. I love you, Bob. Zeke, Zeke asks, Zeke asks, how do I come up with my awesome YouTube ideas? Come up with my awesome YouTube ideas. YouTube ideas by usually combining three random things. Like for instance, giving myself a brain freeze and trying to deliver birthday presents across the butter kitchen floor. If you just take three random things, put them together, somehow that seems like it's a recipe for success in the viral world. You know, doing a question and answer, trying to drink 96 cups of eggnog, and then vomiting on a Christmas tree. I think that works. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and cut this Q&A short. I just threw up all over my phone, but I'd like to open one fan package. This one is from Chris, Joseph, and Mike. Beast, you're fucking awesome, dude. I present to you the Ultra Slim Fast Challenge. If you are able to drink all six of these Slim Fasts, you get to keep the amazing John Madden Football 93. Have a good day. Mind over matter. These three young fellas sent me an expired bag of Slim Fast from 1997. And if I can drink all six of these, I win this Madden 93 for Super Nintendo. Just like to say thank you. Thank you to all the people who sent fan mail. Thank you, LA Beast Nation. Uh, have a happy holidays. Have a safe holidays. Thank you for an awesome 2014. Stay tuned for solid, awesome 2015. Have yourself a good day. I have to clean this up now. Have a good day. It's not so bad. I'm pretty clear with team. It's okay. So bad. See, the things that are on fire are not actually hot. See? Ah! Ah, I'm gonna wake up the neighbors. Ah! Oh shit, it's on the carpet.